Look out! Here comes the Spider-Man! Is he strong? Listen, but he's got radio on your blood. Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes the Spider-Man. In the chill of the night, at the speed of a crime, by the street of light, he arrives just in time. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Welcome to he's ignored. Hey, hey, today we're going to have a look at something I found at an estate sale that I actually uh, kind of showed when I found it, um, but one of my subscribers asked me if I would review it because he hadn't seen it before, nor can he find a YouTube video on it. So I looked myself and no, I can't find a YouTube video on it. So I'm going to go ahead and review it. No, it's not open. Uh, no, it's not meant in the package. It is open. However, it is in fantastic condition. And yeah, so I know this came in two different versions. And uh, one of the versions we'll show right up here. It's reverse colors. You see, notice there's a blue seat and a uh, red tank on the other version. Well, that other version was released right after the first movie. And... Uh, one thing you'll notice is, if you look hard enough online, you'll find out that the movie version, the reverse colored version, the cycle is exactly the same, except for reverse colors, and the Spider-Man is different. He doesn't have that Deadpool look in his face, as we see in this figure right here. So, let's have a look at our cycle. I mean, it's well made. I found this in a box of stuff at an estate sale. And it's Toy Bigs. I believe the this version is actually a Spider-Man Classics version from 2001. Wait a minute. 2002. Alright, so this is before Marvel Legends. Let's have a really good look at this. And there are actually some electronic features on here, too. Of course, you have steering. And you have a uh, button here in the seat, and we'll get to that. Some nice decoration on your exhaust. Big giant... Candy Apple Red Spiders, nice chrome engine. You have your foot pegs, which, by the way, the figure's feet don't actually reach all the way down to the foot peg. They reach to about right there. But anyway, I, I replaced the batteries in it. And uh, when I first got it, the battery still worked, but it was very low, uh, the sound quality. And so I did put new LR3 batteries in it. And... Uh, Here's your kickstand, the spider kickstand. Just kind of slides out of the way. And it's still pretty stable even without the kickstand, but it does got that lean. And you put the kickstand down, kind of levels it off for display purposes. So, you know, there's not a lot to talk about here. What did I just see here? Oh, it looks to me like these marker lights on the handlebars are on a hinge. And I don't know, they don't move so good, but it looks to me like they are on a hinge. As you can see but they don't seem to move and I'm not gonna force the issue all right so let's go through uh, the sounds here all right so on this side you have no LEDs going up the exhaust they skimped on that side but on this side you do have the LEDs that run up the exhaust and they're kind of a chaser light so there's a there's a button right here on the side of the crankcase if you hit it, you just get dialogue. So there's two voice uh, options there that you can cycle through. And then you have the seat activation button here. So you get the revving sound and the chaser lights going up the exhaust pipe there. But there's another activation button here as well. Switch, rather. And it's in the foot peg. If you rock the foot peg, peg forward or backwards, you get the whole startup sequence and then the revving.
which cancels the crankcase out too, so you'll have to wait. Yeah, so it's kind of weird that they would actually put it here as well. But I tell you, you know, as a toy collector, that is a great hybrid toy. And what I mean by that is this this toy, this motorcycle is a toy. It really is. Um, I mean, not so much a toy where it's going to take the abuse of a child beating the hell out of it, but the whole gimmick of it is a toy. And what, what I mean by that is a hybrid toy collectible is because you get a fully articulated Spider-Man here. And we're going to go through this Spider-Man. And what's cool about this Spider-Man is there's no mistaking where this Spider-Man comes from. If you find this Spider-Man loose with his Deadpool-style face, that look on his face, you know it came with the web cycle because this is the only place you can get this Spider-Man here. So I was lucky to find this Spider-Man in the box uh, when I bought it. However, I wasn't sure which Spider-Man went with the uh, with this uh, motorcycle. So I bought all of the Spider-Man. And when I got home, I did my research, research and realized, yeah, this is the guy. So anyway, his... Uh, his articulation is he's on, uh, his neck is on this weird, very, it seems to me like this neck is kind of designed like the very early Mego female figures. So you have an extra neck, but he's got a ball joint there. You got to hold it down. And of course, not much movement there, actually. I mean, yeah, it'll do a 360 and yeah, this it's not a lot of movement there. And he's got fully articulated 360 degree hinge and pin shoulders. Uh, let's see here. We got a bicep cut right there. Uh, double joint in the elbow. One at the uh, upper arm, one in the forearm. And then you have a rotation here in the mid forearm. A hinge at the wrist. And no rotation beyond that. And he's got only one pair of hands. And that's to grip the handlebars of that motorcycle. Let's see, we have nice crunch there. So you can crunch him this much forward, and he can lean back that much. Got a waist pivot here. If we move that upper torso back and forth. And it actually stays in position pretty good. And he had kick out like so. Kick back only that much, kick forward that much, and you have a thigh cut there. And let's see, double jointed knee. You also have a calf cut right there, and hinge in the ankle, and a toe cut as well. Yeah, so back in 2002, these were. Uh, probably the most articulated figures you could buy. And, uh, and they just went on from there with articulated fingers and, well, you, you get the gist of it. But right now, he looks good. He doesn't fit on the motorcycle very well. The motorcycle looks very big for him. However, once you get him on there and he's on display, you know what? Your imagination as a child will take over. So let's get him all ready for riding. Easy rider. He's going to go for a ride with Peter Fonda, Jack Nicholson. Okay. We can actually get him down and orientated so he can actually sit, get his feet up. Bear with me, folks. He can actually be waving. And uh, let's get him on there. Get him somewhat situated. And get his legs spread out. Now, he just needs some ape hangers instead of these low bars here. Ape hangers are the handlebars that go way up, you know, like this. But yeah. So. That's right. You're born to ride, buddy. So, yeah. Also has rubber wheels, which is nice, you know. 
and uh, there's no friction on here no zip tie no 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 ripping rip cord nothing like that it's a static piece not unlike what uh, Hasbro's doing now with like uh, Ghost Rider or um, later Toy Biz would do with um, I think they were called um, something writers you know they had a whole line of the Marvel Legends that came with motorcycles including Wolverine Nick Fury Ghost Rider no ironically they didn't have a Ghost Rider in that line if I remember correctly weird right but they had other ones that came with uh, motorcycles and I love motorcycle toys. I always have. So when I see them, I buy them. And this is one I didn't even know existed. So glad to own it. And no broken parts. Looks fantastic. Definitely a, probably an older kid or an adult that bought this to uh, display. Because uh, this was never played with. So anyway, that's been my look at the 2002 Toy Biz Spider-Man. I don't believe this is a classic. I believe it just says Spider-Man. Web Cycle. Featuring a very cool Deadpool-looking faced Spider-Man. You can only find this Spider-Man with this web cycle. So if you ever find this Spider-Man, looks like this, you know somewhere there is a motorcycle for him. So yeah, Hollow Wolf out.